My day starts at approximately 6.43 when I'm awoken by my roommate who always decides to get up just a little bit before me just to bother me. She likes to spray this awful hairspray that suffocates me. I can feel the particles go into my nose. I actually get up at 7 a.m. And, um, I usually struggle for a little bit, but then I brush my teeth in the public bathroom. And, um, I'm very insecure, so I like to get changed in the stall, because I don't even want my roommate seeing my body. Next, I moisturize my lips, apply some brows and lashes, so I look semi-decent. This is when I grab my essentials and head out to conquer the beast of a day that I have before me. This is when I head down to breakfast, and where do I eat? Only the best diner, Schittler Dining Hall. I mean, Schiletter Dining Hall. While here, I do a few very important things. First, grab an apple. Second, sit alone. Of course, always. And third, I take that apple out of my pocket and put it into my book bag. This will be very, very important for later. Next, I head out to my very first and least favorite class, Spanish. Spanish ends at 9.15 and then I head back to the dining hall to get a nice cup full of ice because I'm anemic and crave things with no nutritional value. When I get to my dorm, I take a fat, fat nap. I eventually wake up at 11.47 and I get ready while watching some of my favorite YouTube videos. Yes, I get ready a second time because the first time just wasn't enough to mask my ugly. This mirror is where I take some of my classic and kind of disturbing Instagram stories, so that's fun. This is when I head out for my second class of the day, which is chemistry. There are a lot of cute people in chemistry, so I try and look a little bit better. This is when I eat that apple that we had saved earlier. Chemistry was kind of short today because we had a quiz that I most definitely failed, but uh, now I head all the way back to once again, the dining hall. Do you see a common theme here? Because I sure do. I like to eat a lot. That food was gross, and now I'm back home, and now, I just kind of fuck around for a couple hours. I'm gonna stop it right there because you guys do not get to hear any more of my awful, awful piano playing. I also may practice the ukulele, but it's kind of actually unlikely that I do that because I just think that the ukulele sounds ugly in my personal opinion. At 3.13, it's time for me to head to my final class of the day, which is psychology. It's a giant room with approximately 300 kids. Then I head back to my dorm, but we've seen that a hundred times, so let's just skip to dinner. Where do I eat? You guessed it, Shaletter Dining Hall. Sometime after eating, I decide to get ready for the gym. I first put my hair into a ponytail, and then I pose for the camera, I guess, because I'm a narcissist. Uh, then I put the bottom half of my hair into a ponytail, and it kind of looks funny, and I hate that. So then I combine the ponytails so that I can actually wear a ponytail. Wow, and here I am posing again. What a fucking narcissist, huh? At about 8, I finally go on my run, and I usually run around for about an hour until I get to the gym. Then I run a fast mile around this track, and then I do some steps, usually about a thousand, and then I lift some weights, and then it's finally time for me to leave and walk across campus in the very, very cold weather. At least my campus is beautiful, I mean, just look at this architecture. So pleasing to the eyes, I would say. Beautiful. Magnificent, maybe, even. And finally, I arrive at the building. My home. There she is. And there's Wendy's below. When I finally get home, it's time for me to shower and wash off all my nasty. Yes, I brush my teeth in the shower, and if you don't, I highly recommend that you do it. Next, I finish taking off my makeup, and then I do some nice moisturization. After that, I braid my hair so that it'll be all wavy the next day, and then... And then what? Ah. And then I take a ton of sleeping aids and grab a nice book and read that for about 20 minutes until it's time for me to sleep. For those of you that made it to the end of this video, I want to give you a big thank you. It means a lot to me. This was my first time ever trying a voiceover, and I don't love it, but I'm proud of me for trying. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you with all of my heart. You light up my life. Um, I can't think of anything right now. It's really late. Okay, bye.